Welcome back to 1700. We are here with Anita, aka Lester the Fierce. Hey. Hello. How are you doing? Good. That's good. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, you have had a pretty big week. Yes. You started your tour on Thursday. Yeah. EP came out on Friday. How's the last few days been for you? Pretty mental, but it's good. It's all good things. I've wanted to be busy in this kind of way for a really long time. So yeah. It's good. How's it feel to finally have the EP out? Good. It happened really quickly, so I kind of don't have that same sense of release or relief as I've had previously, but it's good. I think it, it's getting really good response, so it's all I can really hope for. And See how it goes, yeah. And so you started your tour, how have the shows been? How have people been like rec receiving the, the new stuff? Really yeah. well. A lot of people who've known me in the past, I've just done really kind of folky acoustic stuff and this yeah. is quite rock and roll, a lot of it. So it's, um, it's been good. It's definitely the first time my friends and family have seen this yeah. sort of version of it. So I think it's good. I've, yeah, I've, no one's come up to me and said, yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> yeah, or anything but like you're, get, that. you're getting people dancing though. That, that's, yeah, that's well, well movie, like, kind of. moving their heads in sort oh. of like 90s yeah, stone. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. That's sort of more of a vibe. Well, yeah. that's good. That's yeah. still, that we counts. wanted to ask you because you were in New York spending some time there and mm. saying now that you've sort of got a heavier sound, how much of an influence do you think does New York have on you know, your progression as an artist? Probably a lot, actually. I've not really thought of it like that, but I think that's a good thing <laughs> yeah. to bring up. Yeah. Because that's sort of when it started. I think maybe subconsciously the open airiness of Australia and the relaxed thing was letting me sort of naturally go into that sort of folky, poppier realm. But now yeah. it's, I guess, being in New York, which is pretty full on. Like, I don't know if you've been there before, yeah. but no. it's <laughs> constantly <laughs> like this in your face. And even when you, it's, I don't know, it's like overload of sounds and smells and mm. the weather's very oppressive there. And I think probably that sort of made me a bit more manic, which yeah. made me write slightly more manic music. But yeah, I guess that, I guess that does actually play a role. Yeah. So has that kind of thing kind of inspired your single How? Is that what it's from? Do you I think? think pr I think probably I got to that point naturally, but How was written two days before the EP was recorded. Wow. And that was like your single with the, I know. the video and everything. I didn't think it was, it was actually one of those things where I thought it was crap. And when we were in rehearsal and we had, you know, the, my people, <laughs> like the people who listen to me and tell me what's good and what's not, yeah. you know, they, we'd run out of single songs and they said, just play anything. And so we played it and I thought it was a scrap item, but they really Here liked it, it and yeah. two days later. Yeah, well, we're going to show it now. Yeah. We'll, see, we'll see how you guys think. We'll come back up to that. <laughs> So that was a really awesome clip. Thank Apparently you. your brother uh, made that or My directed My beautiful it. brother made that clip, yeah, yeah, with some friends of his. Um, yeah. So cool, it's a really good clip. Yeah, how was that though? Because you studied film in uni, mm. so you're kind of giving him the creative control, <laughs> giving it to the bro. Yeah, it was, it's funny because he didn't study film, he's just one of those people that's purely like natural at it, oh. so I just handed it over, I told him what I wanted, I sort of yeah. said, I want something kind of I iconic and simple and and makes you feel the song as yeah. much as the song makes you feel the song and I think because we're so connected like he's we're very close in age and mm -hmm. we're best friends all growing up so I think he just knew what to do in, yeah. intuitively and it came out like that really well. Awesome. Came out well. So but you are quite a creative person as well I saw that you um, did the illustrations for your single colours as well for yeah. the video. The animation. Yeah, yeah. the animation. Yeah. I studied at RMIT actually doing, oh, just, yeah, doing animation, majoring in animation. So have you ever thought of maybe as a film for you as well? Um, yes, I, I don't know, it's one of those things that I maybe will come back to, but I didn't want to study music. I thought that if I yeah. studied music, it would be overkill, and I didn't yeah. want to study art but for the same reason, mm -hmm. so it was sort of somewhere in between. I love film. I'm yeah. a huge cinephile. I mm -hmm. watch a lot of movies. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, we're, we're actually talking about um, musos and movies on today's show, because One Direction's <laughs> film comes, comes out, out on Thursday. So yes. Yeah, I know, right? Because <laughs> everyone's been waiting for it. <laughs> but what do you think about, um, you know, musicians using uh, film as like a documentary style thing like is that something you would do yourself mm. like 
Definitely. Or is it kind of a marketing? You know, well, I think that, that some of my favourite my favourite music documentary is Dig, which is about the Dandy Warhols and Brian Jones Sound Massacre. I think, I mean, the, the George Harrison documentary was amazing. Mm -hmm. I think there's some really amazing documentaries about yeah. So maybe that could be on the cards for you? I'd love to do that. I feel it's a bit self-indulgent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. No, but we have actually two mini documentaries about the EP recording. Oh, that cool. Are yeah. out, so is that online? No. Nice. It will be. We'll, oh, we're nice. releasing them in the next month. So awesome. It, that'll be good. They're just two five or seven minute pieces each. One's from my point of view and one's from the producer's point of view. Oh, and, and that is sort of my hand in the film. Pie. Yeah, awesome. I don't think that's the same. The film pie. <laughs> the is film now. pie. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Well, shortly you're going to perform for us. You're going to perform "Let the Rain." So, just quickly before we go to that, that's off the upcoming album. Mm. When can we expect to hear that? I hope, hopefully next year, mid next year. That's sort of the aim. But you never know. Like things get pushed back. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm thinking mid to late next year. Oh, is nice. When it'll come out. Yeah. Well, thanks awesome. for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. We'll, we'll see you after the break.